Hey everyone, it's Enchanted Izzy and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I am going to be testing out a theory that was going around TikTok that I saw get posted quite a few times and I am here to test it for you guys. So make sure to subscribe for more just to impress content because I'm on the road to 220,000 subscribers and my goal is is to get to 300,000 subscribers before Christmas, so it would mean so much to me. Make sure to go check out all of my Roblox merch, which is linked in the description down below in my Roblox group. I do feature people wearing my merch in every single video, so stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how you can be featured as well. And also go check out all of my other socials that are linked in the description down below as well. I'm trying to get them on a 10K, so it would mean so much to me. Once my Minecraft channel hits 10K, I will be starting a new series there, so make sure to go check out that channel and give it some love. Now that you guys know that, let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so I didn't really explain in the beginning what I'm going to be doing in today's video, so I am going to be explaining for you guys now. So apparently, if you dress up like Lana from the childhood chapters and the way she looked like in her childhood, Nurse Julie won't attack you or she'll at least like run away or something like that. So I really want to put this to a test and I want to make some theories if she does end up running away or not attacking me. I'm not 100% sure how this works since Nurse Julie usually attacks you immediately if you make any noise, if you're next to her, she ends up attacking you. So I really want to see if this is true. Now we do have six different tries to test this out and see if it's even correct or if it was just like a glitch and people were just dressed up like Lana coincidentally and <laughs> this video would be... A little bit awkward but we're gonna test it out and hopefully it is true okay so i don't really know what lana wore i don't think we can copy it exactly but we're gonna try so we're gonna put on this t-shirt now i do have this color saved for it is it accurate not really but we're just gonna put it on and then we're gonna put on these jeans and we're gonna go over here to this belt now i'm gonna color it all white now keep in mind I don't know if this is true. I don't know if anything is really going to happen when we do this. So we're going to see. I'm going to put on these shoes over here as well. And I'm just going to color them white as well. I actually don't know the color of her shoes. Maybe we should just keep it the way it was. Okay. We'll just keep it like that. I don't know if her shoes were fully colored white or if they had like a little thing going on. Wait, I don't know what color her shoes were. Let me, let me check. Two hours later. Okay, so after doing some more research on what Lana looked like, it does seem like her shoes look like this, actually, so we're just gonna leave them to look like this. Now, the only thing is her top is actually different, but we can't really do anything about that, so we're just gonna go with it. So we're gonna put on her iconic Lana bun, and then we're gonna try to make her face. Now, I do think making her face is gonna be a little bit difficult because I don't know which eyes she has. I am so bad at replicating faces, so why is this so difficult? Okay, wait, I actually think that that might be the eyebrows. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go with this face. Now we're gonna go into the dressing rooms and we're gonna save this outfit by going in here, clicking on this button right here, clicking the plus sign, and then you can save your outfit. So I'm gonna name it Lana Child. And then we're gonna save it. And now we're going to click on server and head into the Halloween event. Okay, so now we are in the game and I am going to change into the Alana outfit by just clicking this button right here, clicking on Lana Child, and there we go. I think this is pretty accurate to be honest, but I could be completely wrong. So we're going to attempt to go into the server by ourselves because... I don't want anyone else to be in the server while we're testing this theory, so hopefully 
nobody enters while we're trying to get in there. I'm gonna, like, hide in the corner so nobody sees me and nobody enters because that would be really awkward. We have five seconds left. Please, nobody enter. Please. Okay, nobody did. That's honestly a rare occurrence, the fact that Bruh. nobody cared. Okay, so now we are here. Clearly, we are by ourselves and once again, by ourselves. So, let's go look for Nurse Julie. So basically you just make some noise and that's how she'll be summoned i guess i don't know we're gonna see make some noise it is taking her quite a oh nope she's after me wait what <laughs> wait <laughs> why did she do <laughs> she did kill me good thing we have a lot more tries but she did actually kill me but that was weird. She, like, kind of ran away. Okay, she's right there. So, should we just stand here? Oh, what the heck? Okay, let's make some noise. Just to see if she'll come over here. Oh, what the heck? She teleported! Okay, so far, it's really weird how she's acting. Of course, this could just be a glitch. Oh, nope, she noticed me. I feel like this theory is honestly not too correct. I mean, maybe... Maybe it's correct, because she did kind of run away. But at the same time... <gasps> oh. But she could also be, like, running to where she thinks that the book... Oh. Okay. That's so weird. She's, like, kind of attacking me, but at the same time, she's confused it seems like i can't tell if this is like her just being a little bit glitchy or if she genuinely thinks it's lana maybe i don't know hey girl oh my god i just realized she has a bone i've never been this close so oh i don't know this is like weird the way that she's acting right now i'm gonna make that noise <gasps> she's like not attacking me oh but then she attacked me we're gonna go to lana's room real quick i hope she doesn't chase me in here because i don't want to die <laughs> okay so she has this journal and there is a part where she does say how nurse julie is sometimes really aggressive and then sometimes she's not see right here it says nurse julie has started to become aggressive i knew this would happen and she kind of like switches in between being aggressive and stuff. I did make a video and I posted it yesterday, kind of theorizing more about Nurse Julie, if you guys are interested in that. But she did say in her journal, some days she's normal and other days she's dazing off, which makes me kind of think maybe there's some moments where she's just really aggressive. And then there's some moments where she's realizing that this could be Lana. I'm not 100% sure, since maybe she, every time she kind of runs away, she thinks it's Lana, so she doesn't want to hurt Lana, but then she's forced to, maybe? I don't know, that is really weird that she did not attack me, or at least she kind of ran away. Now I am in my private server to kind of talk about what just happened. Now, honestly, it is kind of weird that she was a bit hesitant at first. Of course, this could be a glitch, like this might not even happen, but the fact that she was a little bit hesitant makes me believe maybe she thought it was actually Lana, so she was being hesitant, and then she ended up just killing us because she realized that that's what she had to do or maybe fortress awakening was telling her that she had to i'm not 100 percent sure it could all just be a glitch once again but it would be kind of cool if she does actually sense the fact that you are dressed like lana and doesn't really attack you at first that's it for today's video make sure to subscribe to help me reach my subscriber goal and also hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload from me so here is today's fan Fan art. Alongside this amazing fan art, I also have some people wearing the merch from my Roblox group, which is linked in the description down below. If you would like your fan art or you wearing the merch showcased in one of my videos, all you have to do is submit it in the proper channels in my Discord server, post on Twitter and make sure to tag me, or post on your YouTube community tab, and I will make sure to include your fan art or you wearing my merch in one of my videos. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>